What's up guys, what's going on? Dank back again, and today we're gonna to be looking at, well, a different kind of video. So, I've always wanted to get a new player guide going, help my friends out that are starting out the game to kind of get an idea of what they need to be doing. So, with that being said, here it is. I, I hope you guys find something useful. So, as you can probably guess by the title of the video, we're gonna be looking at the shop and the orders part. Uh, I'm gonna be taking, you know, just bits of the game, you know, chunk by chunk. And with each video, maybe a couple subjects, you know, kind of going forward like that. But let's start it off by going through the, the shop and like what you can actually do there since a good portion of the game is basically summoning for characters. So starting out over in the character portion, there's always, always a different kind of banner going on. And by banner, I mean a certain selection of characters that are featured uh, visually on the actual banner. Now you can flip left and right to you know see the particular characters that are featured, and you can also click the information eye to see the fillers if there are any. Um, it also displays the characters' attributes, their stats, all the information about the characters, um, as well as their power-up materials in case you know you want to take them to six star level two hundred. Then you will definitely need to you know do a little bit of research on the characters and and what they need to power up. But without getting too much into that. Let's go ahead and just dive right into the character part. Now, there are different kind of banners, and with each kind of banner, there are, you know, kind of not necessarily rule sets, but they're kind of loose guidelines as far as what uh, Caleb likes to do with them. So starting off, you have mid-month banners, normally around the middle of the month, <laughs> as they're so aptly named, and they are for new characters, brand new characters. They have no filler characters, so you are guaranteed to get one of the new ones whenever you summon on this banner, and more than likely, the uh, chance of a five-star is going to be 3%. Now, there's always room for change. K-Lab can always switch it up in the middle of the month. And, you know, if, if I'm wrong about one or any of this, I mean, feel free to correct me. Uh, I'm just going off of memory and uh, past experience. But uh, generally, mid-months are those kinds of uh, stipulations. New characters only, no fillers, 3% chance for five stars. Now, moving on to the end of the month, also called EOM, uh, you have more new characters, but instead of just being just the new ones, there are now fillers. And these fillers are generally sometimes newer release characters, sometimes older release characters. Uh, there's usually a mix of both relevant and not so relevant characters in the mix with the end of the month summons. Now, the benefit to summoning on the end of month banner is the fact that you have a 6% chance of getting a 5 star versus a mid month or standard selection banner being 3%. Now, usually the end of the month will have some pretty strong characters in there. Um, the past few have been really, really impressive. So uh, as this time of this video, we still don't know what January of 2018's end of month is. But um, after seeing the uh, Blood War characters come back, uh, I can only hope that there's something delicious around the corner. Uh, moving on, you have your standard selection type summons, and uh, we actually have one of those active right now, being the extreme co-op selection for technique. Um, normally, there's one of these going on uh, almost all the time, whether it be attribute-based selection, killer-based selection, or specific mode-based selection, such as this particular extreme co-op one. Uh, there are no fillers. You are only able to get the characters that are actually on the banner. There's usually anywhere between three to five characters, and they're generally 3% chance. Uh, I, I can't remember any particular other one that are uh, more than 3% but they might be kind of special releases. So we'll get into that shortly, but uh, the next one down would be seasonal banners. Now we don't have any active right now. However, you can almost take uh, this thirst summon, the blood warfare, also known as the thousand year blood war summon as something akin to seasonals. Now they come out or have came out uh, within about three months of each other, kind of similar to seasonal like Christmas, Valentine's Day, Halloween, so on and so forth. And uh, these generally have new characters as well as fillers. 
and they can range anywhere from three to six percent um, depending on the actual banner and the the length of the banner um, as you see right here with the thirst summon it's valid from the 19th to the 31st of january uh, the seasonal ones can range as well so just keep an eye out on that and like i said they're generally around three to six percent depending on the uh, particular banner and uh, lastly you have special releases also, you can consider the Thousand Year Blood War arc uh, characters you know, it's of special releases as well. Um, and generally, they are new characters. Um, there, there could also be past ones uh, similar to the uh, was it the round one of the Thousand Year Blood War arc characters. So, you know, just kind of take that uh, with a grain of salt. They could be anywhere from three to six percent. They could have fillers. They could not. Uh, but generally. The special releases are very similar to the seasonal. I, I didn't want to kind of group them together, so I made them separate, but they're pretty much the same as you can see. Uh, but yeah, there there can be different rule sets and stipulations, but just keep an eye out. Um, as always, you can check the in-game news, which is up here, right here in the top left corner. You can't see my mouse, but uh, right here. <laughs> oh, there you go. <clears throat> but this is generally where all your summon information and all the new stuff is going to be coming in. So keep an eye on that. Uh, moving back over to the uh, character summon part. <clears throat> Those are the particular type of banners that you can normally see. Now, there is one other banner that I didn't mention, and that is this one, the premium summon. Don't ever do this. It, it, unless you're making an account solely for just making premium summons, don't. Don't pull on this. It is absolutely terrible. It's a waste of orbs. Um, you're more often than not just going to get a shitty four star and it's just not worth it. Uh, don't do it. <laughs> Save your orbs for an actually good banner. And then at the very, very bottom, you have the spot for tickets. Now, tickets come in a variety of flavors. You have your normal which are bronze colored, your premiums, which are your standard silvers, your brave souls, which are blue and gold ish colors. And uh, you can also notice that these have a soul reaper insignia on them. The four and five star tickets are gold and the five stars are full on rainbow colored. Now the five star also comes in different flavors as well. Uh, depending on the holiday that's around, they may have a certain five star selection ticket that you can buy and it'll have a certain group of characters that are more than often, you know, pretty good. And, you know, you can buy that or if they're feeling super generous, K-Lab can give them away. But those are the certain kinds of character summon tickets that you can acquire in the game. And of course, there's always room for improvement. They could add more tickets. They could, you know, do different things with the existing tickets. But this is uh, the information that we have now. If uh, again, if I'm missing anything, guys, feel free to, you know, let me know in the comments. But generally, you'll be getting these tickets through various ways of playing, whether they're from your orders, from uh, grinding out events, event drops like there's just a, a, a ton of ways to acquire these tickets um the the premiums and brave souls being probably the most prevalent that you'll see uh definitely premiums uh, you get a whole bunch of those so uh the, the chance of a five star on most of these is pretty low the normals being almost non-existent premiums being just slightly more uh able to get a five star the brave souls and four five star are actually pretty solid they're in my experience, around maybe one and a half to two percent chance for a five star, and then your, uh, of course, your five star guaranteed is a guaranteed five star, so a hundred percent chance on that one. But those are very rare and few and far between. Moving on to the accessory part of the shop, this is where you get all of your items for your characters, um, not necessarily through the actual, you know, summoning of accessories. Again, this is very similar to. Uh, to the premium summons you do not want to summon on on these right here don't do that don't waste your orbs i'm telling you um <laughs> with accessories you have tons and tons of tickets that you can get uh both from same way as character summon tickets you can get them from orders you can get them from just grinding out events there there's really no need to to use orbs to summon accessories it's just not worth it guys don't do it but uh very similar to the character summons you have normal being bronze premium being silver uh premium attribute specifics are silver colored with certain attributes so if you're looking for hearts or um heart attribute ones there will be purple uh power would be red so on and so forth um the only notable thing about the premium attribute specific 
tickets are that they only come around during special events like New Year's or uh, like the anniversary times for the game. So about once or twice a year, they'll come back around. The uh, three star and above, you can get those by completing orders and stuff like that whenever accessory specific events are out. Three star and above attribute, attribute specific. Again, those are uh, similar to the premium attribute specific tickets where they'll only come out very seldom. And then of course you have your four or five star ticket. Uh, they are gold with the red border. And uh, of course, if you're looking for kind of an identifier, I put those in the uh, parentheses there for you, but those are your standard, you know, almost everyday kind of tickets. I can't, I can't remember if there has been a five star accessory ticket. I don't believe so. I, I think they've all been four or five star tickets, but I wouldn't put it past Kloud to eventually put out a five star accessory ticket for a super high price. But that's neither here nor there. But you know, figured I'd just go over the different kinds of tickets for both characters and accessories. So let's go ahead and move on. Um, the last little bit for the video, I wanted to uh, talk about the orders and the different kinds of orders that you can do and the ones that you should look out for. First off, there's the challenge orders, which are just one time, like you do them and you're done. Uh, once you complete all the way through advanced, uh, the screen will no longer be there and you have already collected all the rewards. But basically what you do is you just you know, go into the challenge order screen and if you want to go directly to where the order is telling you to go, just hit that go button. And once you finish the quote unquote quest, you'll get the reward. You'll want to do all of these all the way up until you finish them. Uh, one thing I can suggest at the beginner orders right here, um, once you get this five star, pick the Orihime. <laughs> she's, she's one of the very few healing units that, uh, or the, the healing link units that are going to be able to be somewhat useful in the end of the game. Most, if not all, the other characters are just not even really worth it for the most part. Um, I mean, heal links won't necessarily be super end game, but they will help you get from the very beginning up until that like middle end stage of the game. So definitely get you the orange mind Orihime, and trust me, you'll, you'll be better off. Um, and you definitely want to complete these. You want to focus on these for the first part of your, you know, playtime. Knock them out as fast as you can. Get the characters. Get, you know, all the rewards. It's good stuff. And then the last little bit for the video, we talk about the, you know, regular every day, every week kind of orders. You have four different kinds. You have daily, weekly, free, and event-based orders. Whenever something new comes out, Whenever you have like a new event, there will be like a little new thing pop up and definitely want to go check it out and see what they can give you. Uh, most of the times they are very, 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 very good rewards. Like for instance, you have Brave Soul tickets, Hogyoku's, Spirit Orbs, you know, standard summon tickets, more Brave Soul tickets. Like these are definitely things that you want to be doing uh, whenever they're available. Uh, and of course, you know, be sure to do your dailies every day. They reset every day at around... Uh, right now, at least as, as time of this recording, it's about 10 a.m. my time for Eastern. But once daylight saving times go back, then uh, it'll be an hour later. But for now, yeah, you definitely want to get them done because the more dailies you do, the more weeklies you get to complete. Um, they all have timers and they are, they're all right down here in the bottom right hand corner. So, you know, be sure to keep an eye on those. Weekly orders do give huge rewards like Hogyoku's Wills, lots and lots of coins, uh, hearts which are used to power up your accessories, fat stacks of tickets, and Hogyoku's sometimes. And of course, um, when you have kind of special weekly orders, you can get summon tickets that are kind of special for like, for instance, this one's for the Thousand Year Blood War summon. And yeah, they're pretty cool. You know, nice little added bonuses. Uh, the free orders are going to be your kind of general account achievement based orders. Um, you'll knock a lot of them out at the very beginning of your game. So, you know, just or grab them whenever you can. Make sure to you know, knock them out as much as you can because there, there's some good stuff in there too. And of course, like I already went over with the events, this, this is the meat right here. This is the one you really want to focus on, this tab. 
uh, make sure you to knock those out before the event expires because you'll have to wait until the next time it comes out and who knows whenever those are going to come out. But uh, definitely, definitely do those whenever you have spare tickets from uh, after you're completing your dailies and all that kind of stuff. So with that being said, guys, I tried to keep this video under 20 minutes and I think I did a pretty decent job. So, well, uh, let me know if there's if there's anything I missed, if there's anything that uh, you guys would want to see. Let me know down in the comments. I know probably a lot of veteran players are going to be like, dank, what the heck, man? No, nobody, nobody cares about this stuff. And you're probably right. But there might be somebody out there somewhere that is just now starting and is looking for, you know, some reference stuff. So here we go. But uh, if you stayed this long, man, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If, uh, if you did like it, hit that uh, like button, throw a comment down there. Let me know what you think. But uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. And until next time, we'll see you later. Peace.